A kidney cyst is essentially a fluid-filled sac that forms in or on the kidney. The kidneys are two bean-shaped organs located on either side of your spine, and they play a crucial role in filtering waste and excess fluids from the blood to produce urine. Think of kidney cysts like little bubbles or balloons that form on the kidney. They can be as small as a pinhead or grow to be as large as a golf ball. Now, you might be wondering, aren't kidneys supposed to be cyst-free? Well, not necessarily. It's actually pretty common for people to develop kidney cysts as they get older. In fact, about half of all people over 50 have at least one kidney cyst. The good news is that most of the time, these cysts are what doctors call simple cysts, which means they are small, have thin walls, and are filled with a watery fluid. These simple kidney cysts are harmless and don't cause any problems, but here's where it gets a bit more complicated. Sometimes kidney cysts can be a sign of a more serious condition. These are called complex cysts, and they might have thicker walls or contain solid material instead of just fluid. Complex cysts need to be watched more closely because they have a higher chance of being or becoming cancerous. Types of kidney cysts. Kidney cysts come in two major types, each with different characteristics, causes, and health implications. Number one, simple kidney cysts. These are the most common type of kidney cysts and are typically benign. Simple kidney cysts don't generally cause harm or lead to kidney disease. They are usually detected incidentally during imaging tests done for other reasons. Simple cysts are usually filled with a clear fluid and are lined with a thin wall. These cysts rarely cause symptoms unless they grow large, in which case they might create discomfort due to their size. Number 2. Polycystic Kidney Disease this is a genetic disorder characterized by the growth of multiple cysts in the kidneys. PKD is more serious than simple cysts because it can impair kidney function over time. There are two main types of PKD. Number one, autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease. This type usually manifests later in life and is inherited from one parent. It is the more common form of PKD. Number two, Autosomal recessive polycystic kidney disease. This type is much rarer and more severe, typically appearing in infancy or early childhood. ARPKD can lead to kidney failure or other severe health complications early in life. Causes of kidney cysts. You might be wondering, why do these cysts form in the first place? Well, the exact cause isn't always clear, but we do know a few things. For simple cysts, the most common cause is age. As we get older, the risk of developing kidney cysts increases. It's just one of those things that can happen as part of the aging process. In some cases, kidney cysts can be caused by a blockage in the tubules or tiny tubes that collect urine. This blockage can cause the tubule to swell up and form a cyst. For polycystic kidney disease, the cause is genetic. It's something you inherit from your parents. If one of your parents has PKD, you have a 50% chance of developing it too. Certain medications can also increase the risk of developing kidney cysts. For example, long-term use of lithium, which is a medication used to treat bipolar disorder, has been linked to an increased risk of kidney cysts. In rare cases, kidney cysts can be caused by other underlying conditions or as a side effect of certain medical procedures. But for most people with simple kidney cysts, there's no clear cause. They just happen. Before we continue, if you have been finding the video helpful so far, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss more videos like this. Symptoms of kidney cysts. This is where things can get a bit tricky because most of the time, kidney cysts don't cause any symptoms at all. In fact, many people have kidney cysts without ever knowing it. They're often discovered by accident during imaging tests done for other reasons. However, if a cyst grows large or causes complications, you might start to experience symptoms. Some people might feel a dull pain or ache in their back or side. This pain can be constant or it might come and go. If the cyst is large enough, you might even be able to feel a lump or bulge in your side. Sometimes kidney cysts can cause a feeling of fullness or heaviness in the abdomen. This is more likely to happen if the cyst is particularly large. In some cases, kidney cysts can cause urinary symptoms. You might find yourself needing to pee more often than usual, or you might feel like you can't fully empty your bladder. Some people experience a burning sensation when they pee. 
If a kidney cyst bleeds or becomes infected, you might develop more severe symptoms. These could include sharp pain in your back or side, fever, and blood in your urine. If you experience these symptoms, it's important to see a doctor right away. For people with polycystic kidney disease, the symptoms can be more severe. Because PKD leads to multiple cysts that enlarge both kidneys, it can cause high blood pressure, which can be persistent and difficult to manage. Over time, it can lead to kidney function decline, meaning your kidneys may lose their ability to filter waste from the blood properly, which can cause fatigue, fluid retention, and even complications in other parts of the body. Diagnosis of Kidney Cysts If you're experiencing symptoms, or if your doctor suspects you might have kidney cysts, the first step toward diagnosis is usually imaging tests. Kidney cysts are often discovered incidentally, meaning they're found while doctors are examining you for something else, like abdominal pain or kidney stones. The most common imaging tests used to diagnose kidney cysts include number 1. Ultrasound. This is often the first test done to check for cysts. It's non-invasive, uses sound waves to create images of the kidneys, and can easily detect fluid-filled sacs. Number 2. CT scan. A CT scan provides a more detailed view of the kidneys, especially if the doctor needs to evaluate the cyst's size or structure in more detail. Number 3. MRI. An MRI can give even more precise information about the cyst, particularly when there's concern about possible complications or cancer. In some cases, your doctor might recommend a procedure called cyst aspiration. This involves using a thin needle to remove some fluid from the cyst. The fluid can then be tested to rule out cancer or other problems. If your doctor suspects you might have polycystic kidney disease, they might recommend genetic testing. This can confirm the diagnosis and help predict how the disease might progress. Treatment for kidney cysts. The treatment for kidney cysts depends largely on the type of cyst, its size, and whether or not it's causing symptoms. Simple kidney cysts that are small and don't cause symptoms typically don't require any treatment. Your doctor may recommend watchful waiting, where you'll have periodic imaging tests to monitor the cyst for any changes. For larger cysts or those causing discomfort, several treatment options are available. Number 1. Aspiration and Sclerotherapy If the cyst is large and causing pain or discomfort, your doctor may suggest a procedure called aspiration. This involves using a long, thin needle to drain the fluid from the cyst. To prevent the cyst from refilling, the doctor may inject a solution, usually alcohol, into the cyst sac to shrink it. This procedure is minimally invasive and can be done under local anesthesia. Number 2. Surgery In cases where the cyst is particularly large, or if it's pressing on other organs or causing significant pain, surgery may be needed to remove the cyst. Surgery is also considered if there are concerns about cancer. During the surgery, the surgeon will either remove the cyst entirely or open it to allow it to drain permanently. Most kidney cyst surgeries are performed laparoscopically, meaning the surgeon uses small incisions and a camera to guide the procedure, making recovery faster and less painful than traditional open surgery. Number 3. Treating polycystic kidney disease. For those with PKD, treatment is more complex. While there is no cure for PKD, Managing the condition focuses on slowing down the growth of cysts, controlling blood pressure, and preventing kidney damage. Medications such as tolvaptin have been shown to slow the progression of cyst formation in some people with ADPKD. Since high blood pressure is a common complication of PKD, medications such as AC inhibitors or angiotensin receptor blockers are often prescribed to keep blood pressure under control which in turn helps protect the kidneys from further damage. At the end, living with kidney cysts might sound scary, but for most people, it's manageable. Many people with simple kidney cysts live normal, healthy lives without any problems. Even for those with more complex conditions, advances in treatment are happening all the time. Now we want to hear from you. Have you ever been diagnosed with a kidney cyst or know someone who has? What was your experience like and what symptoms did you have at first? Share with us your experiences and opinions in the comments below. We'd love to hear them. Thanks for watching.